right, so episode 18. Let us talk about it. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you start. Uh, oh, me? Yeah. Start I with start, what? But I don't really know what to. Actually, before we start, start, you might notice that with this video, we look a bit different. And Q Parker doing something dumb like having the old art here and then doing an evolution thing like in Pokemon. No, I totally didn't think about doing that at all. I, I, I totally wasn't gonna do something stupid like us like henching into our new forms, which is uh, really good art that I commissioned by a wonderful yeah. person named Ginestator on Twitter. I hope I said that name right. I will leave their- I, and I, I totally won't be leaving their Twitter in the description, which is something you should- which, if I did, uh, is something you should totally go follow, you know? Yeah, of course. Because they're great and make really good art and, you know, oh, uh, and, and did a really good job and was willing to work with my dumb ass. Yeah, uh, I mean, you you are pretty dumb, I, I, I agree. I am pretty dumb. But in all seriousness, thank you, Genestator, or yeah. however the fuck you say your name. I really hope I said it right. I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, whatever. It, it's great. I love it. I love everything about it. I think it makes the, these videos look it, ten times better. But, uh, yeah. But enough about that. Episode 18. Flower arrangement. Act two. <laughs> Electric boogaloo, indeed. Electric so uh, we start. Uh, where were they? Like, what was it? Yeah, okay. they, they were rebooting the fucking robot. Yeah, they they they're rebooting Sayo. Say 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 This is the first time we've tried to Something. remember a human Sayaka? name. Sayaka? Sayaka? The flower girl. Yeah, the flower girl. They're re they're rebooting the flower robot, and in in her brain they find some footage of the headmaster of the Tachibana Flower School uh, being an asshole. Being an asshole. And you know, then he was like, "This one flower fucked up your entire arrangement." He put that shit in there. Yeah, he did. He did a little thing called the sabotage. Was it, like, hey, this one flower will make your original way better, and then later he use it to his advantage because the one flower was bad, apparently. Apparently, it was so bad, even though it was one flower. But you know, whatever. We don't get it, but hey, somebody out there gets somebody, it. I'm not gonna go work. We're not gonna get into the art discussion again. <laughs> not, not, not two episodes in a row. No. We don't need to talk. We don't need to talk more about things we don't know about. <laughs> um. Shout out to your friend who thought performance art was the performing arts. <laughs> Shout outs to him. Because they are different things and he yelled at me for asking what performance art is. So they confront him and Guy actually also confronts him and is like, I do not like it when people disrupt the company's image. Uh, we're gonna have a little thing called a rematch and we're about to clap your ass cheeks, boy. We're gonna, we're gonna get that salty run back. Except the salty run back is coming from the guy who won. Yeah. Because, uh, dude decided to cheat, but hey, guy, guy is fair, Zaya is fair, so they're gonna, they're gonna play this straight. So they're yeah. gonna have a rematch. And then, Guy and Aruto get to sit down and have a little chat once again about Aruto's grandpappy, because Guy knew him. And this is where we see something interesting. Guy's 45. Guy is 45 years old. Yeah, he's, he's, he's older than he seems. He is Japanese, so that's a start. Okay, but right, listen, I know I do not like the whole Aruto is a Humagear thing, but if anyone here is a Humagear, but is like, thinks he's a human, it's that motherfucker right there. You know, it'd be ironic because he is like, fuck Humagears. I know, that's why I want him to be a Humagear. Hubris, motherfucker. <laughs> and then we have a confrontation between Fua and Yua because Fua encounters her in a parking fucking garage. parking garage. And, and it's like, hey, did you restart Hirobi? Why'd you think I did that? Because you're a bitch. <laughs> you know that's a little thing called illegal, right? And she's like, I mean, yeah. 
where I'm about to take you to court with my gun and they fight. And it's, re it's a really cool fight scene. I actually really like it. Shot Riser. Ballet. Dash. Authorize. Authorize. This entire parking garage fight is really cool. Who wins? Who wins against Yua, but then uh, Zaya's big dick limousine rolls up, and by limousine I mean like a four-door sedan. Yeah, Mr. Flavortown comes out. Guy shows up and he's like, tsk, 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 I can't let you be fighting with company property. And he turns into Thouser. And Fuwa turns into Assault the Wolf! And. Assault the Wolf! Ready? Go! And they fight. And then Assault Wolf loses pretty readily. Yeah, because he's 1,000 times stronger and all that. Thousand percent. So we get to the competition. Well, actually, no. Before the competition, mysterious person in a clo in the cloak that we thought last episode was Jin. Uh, definitely not Jin because it is a she. It's a woman. It is a woman. Uh, uh, slaps a belt on the flower guy, a teacher, and is like, "Why don't you get real angry? Here, take this progress key. All right, okay, bye." <laughs> And also, um, they, Z fucking Heaton makes a fucking replica assault grip. Yeah, I don't like that. It makes sense, though. I mean, it makes sense that they would do that, but I, I kind of prefer them having to fight over it, because now Shining Hopper is completely pointless. Shining Assault Hopper's pretty cool. Though, I mean, so. no, don't get me wrong, Shining Assault Hopper's a great suit, but... Now Shining Hopper is completely useless. Why would you ever use it? Just always go into Shining Assault Hopper. I'm sure it'll get used. It's fine. <sighs> and, uh, yeah, they make a new assault group. And we get to the flower competition, and Flower Man walks in all angry, and he puts the the crushing buffalo progress key in. And buffalo! He, and he turns into a buffalo man. <laughs> And Zaya's just like, well, I guess I gotta fucking kill you. No guy. Like, actually, his, his name is not Zaya. It is. Guy. I'm tired. We were calling him Zaya President for so long. It's stuck in my brain hole. CEO of Zaya. Yes. Guy is like, all right. Well, I got. I guess you must die. And he turns into Thouser. And Aruto turns into Shining Assault Hopper. But they play the sound effect for Shining Hopper. Yeah, like he comes in to shine and he's all over. He's like, when I shine, darkness fades. I'm like, hold on. That's not what that says. <laughs> that's not what that's supposed to say. It's supposed to say, no chance it's of surviving the shot. And it, like, the best part is when he uses it, it goes, warning, warning. This is not, this a, is not a test. And it's like, yeah. no, they completely skip that when I shine, darkness fades. It's not the right thing to say, but shut up. And Aruto is like, we don't know what'll happen when we defeat him. I can't let him die. And then he's totally fine whenever they defeat him, whenever Thouser defeats him. Yeah, I mean, it's just the, the strange part was that it was just a dude. Yeah, that is the thing. So what do you think is making him transform? I think it's just as simple as it's a it's a belt that you can wear and it does that. I mean, I think it'll become clearer in, in like the next time it happens. If the next person who does it is also wearing Zaya specs, I'm going to assume that it's something Zaya. to do with Zaya specs. I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being Except like Zaya that. specs are totally not evil, guys. Yeah. Buy yours now. Yeah, buy them now. Uh, I think that, that my problem with it is, is if, okay, it's not a problem, it's just an observation, then then it's turning into a situation where it's like, haha, Aruto, look at all your shit getting fucked with, and now it's like, haha, Zaya, look at all your shit getting fucked with. I kind of just prefer the rogue third element, just fucking with everything. 
Yeah. So, Even though Zaya to, is in control of the fucking... Yeah, Zaya is in control of the Ark, kind of? Because they can Maybe just... Arc. He did make it, but it doesn't seem like they have control of it. Because it's not like Gaia called the Ark and was like, Hey, yo, can you turn this flower Humagear into a Magia? Yeah, no problem, bae. You know, he's not... Thanks, bro. He can't control the Ark. It is, it is omnipotent and all-being. <laughs> it just, it really hates humans, though. Like, a lot. Like, a lot. Um, there we go, that's a lot better. Anyway, what you are saying for most of that? Oh, really? Did I cut out for all of that? Damn. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I was just saying that, you know, the Ark really hates humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of him, though. Well, no! Not because of Zaya. So, if you remember... Okay, so here's the big brain theory. I believe there, so Guy says that he made the Ark. He didn't specifically said that Zaya made it. So what I'm willing to bet is happening is that since he's so close with Aruto's grandpa, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it now. There's gonna be a twist where it's like me and your grandpa made the Ark because the Ark is connected to Humagears, which is a hidden thing. Hmm. So. And so that, was, that was a 12 years ago project that, that, that was probably the project from 12 years ago and they were like we just uh, it's their disagreement because Zaya and, and fucking fight the guy guy just showed the arc a bunch of fucking footage of war yeah here's a bunch of here's a whole bunch of old stockpiled World War 2 footage you Go see ahead. this guy Hitler yep that should be your role model from here on <laughs> Ooh, not role model you should be the reason you hate humans, because they're so evil. And Hitler is bad. In case you didn't know, Hitler is in fact a bad guy. So, it's... it. I, we're just throwing out speculations. Uh, one, because this video needs to be longer, and two, because there's so much stuff that we don't know. There, yeah, I, I'm really excited to see where the show is going. Oh, by the way, uh, episode ends with our uh, with uh, Heaton still losing the flower arranging contest. That's that's all that happened. That's, but it's that's, a but it's a much more satisfying because because uh, everyone learned the lesson of friendship at the end of the day. But I'm throwing out ideas because I'm just we don't have a lot to go off of. But I'm excited to learn about what is going on. Because now we have Metsubo Jinrai still active, Hirobi still on, Jin's gonna return at some point. You know he is, he's in the fucking opening still. We have yeah. an, a third member of Metsubo Jinrai using a belt, which we find out is called the Raid Riser, which can be used on humans. Yeah, overall, this episode. It definitely continued the last episode. <laughs> it went by very quickly. It went, it did. Like, when it was over, we were like, is that it? Oh, all right. That, 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 was that 20 minutes? I don't know. Yeah, it was like, that was 23 minutes? That did not feel like, it felt like by the time the episode was over, it's like, all right, I'm ready for the next half of the episode. Yeah. No. We gotta wait a week. We gotta wait a week now. But, uh, what did you think? I enjoyed it, despite yeah. the fact that it didn't feel long, like a, like a full episode. Yeah, it, it I felt very. I, I was satisfied with how it ended with the flower people, and now I'm ready to talk about real estate next time. Oh yes, yeah, so we get to talk about real estate next episode. Yeah, can't wait for us to somehow get on a real estate tangent. Yo, how's your premiums? <laughs> Oh, dude, it's great. <laughs> oh, my premiums are so good. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, I always enjoy making them. Yeah. Once again, I enjoy talking to Parker. Follow Jin Stater on Twitter. Yeah, and and Hailsire. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Just follow them on Twitter. He makes good art. He made he made good art for the show. It's awesome. Common Rider's great. Hit that subscribe bell, smash the like button, and I will see you in the next millennium. 
Bye. Bye bye.